friends, my name is Josie and I'm a librarian with the Chutes Public Library. Today we're out on the river trail and we are going to do a quick little hike. Now I like hiking just for the fun of it anytime, but to make it more fun today, we are going to do a scavenger hunt. You can do any kind of scavenger hunt you want on a hike. You can make it really easy or really challenging. Today we're going to go with kind of easy. Today we're going to try to find four things. We're going to find a coniferous tree, that means a tree with needles that doesn't lose its needles. We're going to find a deciduous tree, that means a tree with leaves that does lose its leaves. We're going to try to find a flower, and we're going to try to find an animal. So, those are four fairly easy things. If you want to make it more challenging for you, instead of finding a coniferous tree, you could say, I want to find a ponderosa tree with two tops or I want to find a lodgepole pine that is taller than a ponderosa pine. You can make it as fun or as easy or as difficult or as challenging as you want. Also, if it's easy and you just have four things, you can remember in your mind. But if it's really difficult, maybe make a list or take pictures of the items that you find. You ready? We're gonna go for a hike. Okay, friends. So here we are on the Deschutes River Trail. The Deschutes River Trail goes from at least Sun River to Tumalo State Park near Tumalo, so it covers a big part of our county. There's also parts of trail along the Little Deschutes near Lapine and tons of trails in Sisters and in Redmond. So try the Dry Canyon in Redmond or maybe the Little Deschutes near Lapine if you can't get to the River Trail or any trail in our area. But we're looking for our four items. And guess what? I think I've already found one. If you look right there, that is a ponderosa tree. Ponderosa trees have needles that don't drop and is a coniferous tree. So we found our ponderosa, we found our coniferous tree. We still need to find a deciduous tree. Let's see. Oh, wait, no, I think I found a flower. Let's go out here and look. There's the river, but let's see, did I find a flower? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Yes, there is a flower. I happen to know this one's called Spirea, but uh, I can teach you, we can talk about ways to identify stuff later. We were just looking for any flower and that's what we found. So yay, we've got two items for our list. Let's keep walking. Oh, there's all sorts of fun stuff out here. We're looking for a deciduous tree, I'm thinking maybe an alder, or we're looking for an animal. It might be a dog out walking on its hike, but we'll see what's going on. I think I found a deciduous tree. Oh, look at that one right there. That is an alder. Okay, I wanted to get in for a closer look. This is an alder tree. Alder trees are deciduous, that means in autumn, the leaves all die and fall off. So you have a bare looking tree in the fall. So that's our deciduous tree. Now we're still looking for an animal. This one's gonna be super hard to find. Let's see if we can walk a little bit further. Maybe there'll be a butterfly. Maybe, does a puppy dog count? Mm, I don't know if we can count a puppy dog. I didn't actually say wild animal. So I think we're still looking for a wild animal. Let's see, maybe there's a fish in the river. Have you ever looked for fish in the river? Or an insect or a water bug? Let's go over here and look. Oh, sometimes looking in the water is the most exciting part. I don't have a very good lens for it, so we're probably not gonna see anything super easily. Oh, I saw another dog though. Does that count, guys? I don't know. I saw some bugs, but I didn't really film them very well, so... Let's keep looking some. Sometimes there are bugs on trees. Sometimes there are bugs on flowers. If you're really lucky, you might see a bumblebee. But let's, oh, 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 oh! There's water striders. Do you see them? We did it! We found everything on our scavenger list. Scavenger hunt list, that is super cool. And then we also get to look at the pretty river, so. I'm going to go ahead and end this hike and maybe just do some gentle hiking on my own and I'll get back with you later. Just a sec. Hi friends, I really enjoyed our hike today. We found some fabulous things out there. 
we found the things on our list. A deciduous tree, a coniferous tree, a flower, and an animal. Now they're all done, we're gonna head back inside and look at some ways to identify the different things we find out there and make sure that that flower I saw really was a spirea. So come on, let's go back inside. Hi friends, we're back inside looking at some plants that we could find on a hike or in the wild. There's a lot of ways to identify plants. I like using books. This is one of my favorite books, Pacific Northwest Wildflowers. And I just wanted to talk really quickly about that flower we saw out there. I said I thought it was a spirea. And according to my book, I'm just going to show you really quickly, it is a Douglas spirea. So yay, we got that one right. But there are a lot of plants and animals in the world. We're going to narrow down just the plants today. So ways to identify plants using books like what I just showed you or using apps. I like the Oregon Wildflower Search. Oregon Wildflower Search is a great app for wildflowers. But when you're looking at plants like this, the first thing you want to do is think about what you have. I have a white flower. I have a peachy pink flower and I have a purpley pink flower. I also have long needles and short needles and an actual leaf. So I would start by maybe sorting them into flowers. Yeah, there we go. I have flowers over here and tree parts over here. Once you kind of have an idea what you have, I'm going to focus on the trees. So let's go ahead. This one's yarrow, lupin, and ooh, mystery flower. We'll have to look that up later. But if I'm focusing on the tree parts, I know these all come from trees because I grabbed them off of trees, but it's, they're pretty obvious. This is a leaf from a deciduous tree. These are needles from a coniferous tree, and these are more needles from a coniferous tree. You want to use your senses to describe and observe what you have. So if I observe this leaf, I know it's flat, it's green, it's got a vein down the middle, but I'm more interested in the needles. I'm going to compare them. If I compare the leaf to the needles, the leaf is off obviously wider, but it's shorter than these and longer than these. So I want to identify which one is a ponderosa though. So I'm going to move my leaf away because I know that these are both pines. Now, any book you have on plants and trees will probably help you figure that out. I tend to use the one from the National Audubon Society. I just feel like they do a really nice job. When I look in this book, there are tons and tons of pictures. I start out by finding the picture of what I think I have or what I think I'm looking for, which is a ponderosa. Hmm, I don't know. Does that look exactly the same to you? You can't always tell from a picture of the bark or the needles. So I go to the page that the tree will be further described. And when I'm on that page, I'm going to get things like its size, its shape. There's going to be a lot of different data in there and it will help me to identify the tree. So. If I look at this page, I don't want you to read it right now when we're sitting here on YouTube, but if you look at the page, it'll tell me that ponderosa needles come in bundles of three, sometimes two, but normally three. So I can count. See, there's a one, two, three. There are three needles bundled together. Does this one have three needles? No, it looks more like two. So we know that's probably not a ponderosa pine. It'll also tell me the length of my needles and super cool my book here has a measuring tape on the book so when i take that out wow five nine inches and my book says yeah that could be a ponderosa pine because they're super long needles so we used a book we used our senses our um observation skills and a measuring tape to measure to find out that we have ponderosa pine needles. So there's a lot of different resources. You can either check out books from the library, use books that you might have around, or maybe use an app to help identify what you're looking at. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful time hiking, doing scavenger hunts, and having fun in the woods. Be safe this summer.